Hi everyone! So, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to be doing the other half of my face. I did this half already with a full coverage cream foundation. This one right here. And I used this already all over my face. Um, and now we're going to do this other half right here. I'm going to do a simple um, but a little more extravagant kind of look on this side. So stay tuned. All right. So we're going to start off and go into some primer. And on this side, we are actually going to go into, um, a little bit of liquid and BB cream instead on this side. So we're going to go right into, uh, my brush here, we're going to take the brush right here, and we're going to go right into the BB cream, which looks like this. This one is in bisque. Um, if you need a shade match or anything like that, let me know. You can write in the comments, and we can get you hooked up. Also, the liquid foundation is what we're going to use. Now, this one is not a full coverage. This one is medium coverage. And you can get it to a high medium coverage um, if you are wanting. But most, most of this and stuff like that, I'm going to be doing a simple kind of medium coverage with it. Um, if your dropper is somewhat has issues then you can always shake the bottle a little bit and get the foundation out of that um because for me um I constantly break my droppers every once in a while I kind of wish they would um have the bottle without a dropper I like like the pumps and stuff like that better but this foundation is so good and stuff I'm willing to you know, work with it. So, we're going to take the foundation um, and I'm going to shake it up a little more because you got to make sure you shake it up well. Um, so, you make sure you have that all mixed in because this is water-based. Um, if you guys don't know anything about these products, um, then you know I'm going to give you a little lesson. They're all mineral-based and water-based when it comes to the liquid products. So, we're going to take my pump here. Or not pump, but the little bottle here. And we're going to go right into, with the brush, and we're going to go right into here and kind of mix it on my face. And then go in with it a little more. If you're curious what brush I am using right now, I am using a Echo Tools brush. I like this brand. Um, I like Real Techniques. I love the Real uh, the Echo Tools brush. I like them too. Um, but I I love Real Techniques. I think that one's actually like one of my favorites. So. And when it comes to, so the reason why I add and do like the BB cream and stuff like that all with the liquid um, is because for me, my skin is super, super dry. So I feel like I need to put some more hydration in it. And that BB cream is a tinted moisturizer and has so much hydration in it. So it's great for my skin and stuff um when it comes to that so there is that more natural looking when it comes to as a foundation you can get it to a full medium um but honestly i think i'm gonna leave it the way it is i might add a tiny tiny bit more of the bb cream because like i said i have super dry skin so I do use um, quite a bit of the BB cream and stuff like that because it is so good and so hydrating. Okay, so there is that. 
And you can tell this is full on matte, um, which is great if you are into a matte foundation. This one you can get into a matte by putting a powder over it because of the BB cream. But if you just want to leave it like that and look all dewy and stuff, you can leave it like a dewy finish too. So there's also, I put the setting spray and I use setting spray. And right here I use um, the Behold, Touch Behold setting spray. I love this stuff. This is so good. This is my second bottle. And the best thing about these products is they last you over a year. And that's like a big reason I love them so much. Um, so for this one, I used a pencil over here. We're actually going to use a splurge cream shadow because that's another way I like doing my brows. Um, and I'm going to use a splurge cream shadow for this one. So let me find a brush. So I've also got these wish brushes and these ones are a specific seller and stuff like that. So if you are interested in stuff like that, just gotta let me know and I can put it down below and stuff. Um, but these are really good too. So these are a wish seller and I love, I enjoy wish. A lot of people seem like they have issues sometimes with wish and I don't usually have that issue, so. So I'm going to take a splurge cream shadow. So the best thing about these splurge cream shadows is they are smudge and budge proof. So they're not going to go anywhere. So you won't have issues with that. Um, and they are waterproof, which is great because that way your brows don't mess up at all. And they last all day long. All day long. Apparently we're going to go a little thicker with this one. I don't think it looks too bad. If you are a beginner when it comes to brows and stuff, because I'm definitely like, I'm still a beginner and stuff. I'm just now realizing on how to do it. Um, I would recommend the pencil, but if you are way better than I am, then I would recommend um, the splurge cream shadow. So it's totally up to you and it's your preference um, when it comes to it. Our pencils and stuff like that though, they do come with a spoolie. So you can brush out your brow if you need to do that. Okay, you need to brush it out and stuff like that. Totally use that. Um, let's see. Okay, I think that's good. So we're going to leave that brow the way it is. Um, you can do a better one. I'm sure with the splurge cream shadow, if you work with it. Um, now we're going to go right into eyes for eyes. We're going to use, um, we're going to do a full on different different palette let's see we're gonna use five same palette I use for this light look but we're gonna go more into like the brighter colors um, to do this one so first I'm gonna go into a brown out of this palette and go in and use as a transition So this is a transition. I'm gonna mark a little on this one and go up here. 
under the brow here. And then we are gonna go straight into that colorful palette. We're gonna use this brush real quick. And we're gonna go into a brighter color. So we're gonna go into this purple and this pink. So we're gonna go with the purple first. And the purple is gonna go right here. A little tip, uh, trick for you guys is if you want that color to brighten up even more than it is, then spray your brush with some setting spray, water or rose water, and then go into the color that you wanted. And you can just go back in and it'll brighten up your shadows a little more. That brush was not a good one. Hold on. There's the brush I wanted. Sometimes, uh, like I said, tools are essential. So when it comes to your tools, you want to make sure you have good tools that are going to work with your makeup products or anything that you have. You want to make sure you have the right tools and stuff to use. Because that right there looks a lot like dark, dark. And that's because the tool that I was just using didn't spread it out enough. This one, on the other hand, is doing the job. So we're going to fix that just a little bit. And I go little by little and go in with the shadow because these are highly pigmented. Like, let me just show you. Okay. Okay, one swatch. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, that's a lot of pigment. And you go little by little when it comes to that. So... You go from, there's that one, there's that one. So those are the purples and pinks we're going to use. So we're going to go into my little swatcher thing. You can get it on Amazon or you can get it at Walgreens if you have a Walgreens close to you. That's where I found mine. Mine was at Walgreens. So then I'm going to go in with this gorgeous pink color. Little by little makes a big difference. Then I'm going to take that swatcher and get color off it. And then I'm just going to take the brush and kind of blend it together in the middle so it's not so harsh to, um, and separate. Okay. Then... We're going to go in with a little bit of the gold for the inner corner to kind of match the other one. Okay. Then I'm going to take a blending brush and we're going to blend out these two a little bit up here. So it doesn't look so harsh. Okay. Then we are going to do the same thing when it comes to this dip and draw eyeliner. And we're going to go into the eyeliner. And this is the dip and draw. Um, and it literally is called that for a reason. Because it literally is you dip and you draw. So you take it. And you go from however you want to take it. So if you have noticed though, I know a lot of people don't notice it. But for me, I have two different eye shapes. This one is a little more different because this one closes more and this one's open more, if you notice that. 
I don't know if anyone noticed that. But if you have, then you notice that I have that little bit of trouble. So, what I do is I open my eyes real big and nice. And then I go in. When it comes to the wing. So I open my eyes nice and big. And then I go in. With my line and do my wing. Because with this one, I don't have to open my eyes nice and big. I can just leave it like this and go right along. But with this one, I have to open my eye nice and big and then draw out my line. If there is anyone else who has this little thing where one of your eyes is different, I want to know because I think it's interesting that this eye is more open right here and this eye is more closed. Have you guys noticed that at all? Okay, so there's our colorful eye look here. Okay, then we're going to go into mascara. So, on this one, we went in and did 3D, or 4D, my bad. So, we're going into 4D mascara. This stuff is amazing. I love it. Um, I love our regular Epic Mascara too, but I love our 4D. It's so good. Um, a lot of people say, you know, you can roll it. You do this little roll motion and stuff with your hand. But technically, I have it where you can easily kind of use as a regular mascara with it. So I go in with like one coat. I can dip it back for a second and I can leave it like that um, with the one coat or I can do two coats which is what is on the other eye over here so I wait a few seconds and then go back in and do a second coat Super pretty lashes. Okay, then I'm going to go in with the bottom lashes. And I've been using my regular Epic in brown. Because it just looks a little more natural. Depends on your preference when it comes to um, brown or black when it comes to regular Epic. And then also, I went in earlier and I just went in and I took my wand... And I went in with the 4D also. I put it over it. Super, super pretty. I love that. Okay. Now we're going to go in with another blush. So this one I use a liquid lipstick. We use like a light, light color. And what we used was this one called Sparkling. So we use that as blush. You can use an actual blush. Or you can use those liquid lipsticks as a blush. Um, I think today we're going to go in with this blush. And we're going to take the blush brush. I love this thing. And we're just going to go right into it. Our blushes are highly pigmented. This one is like a sheer one though. So you can go in a few coats. And get it the way you want it. And I go out this way. I take it and I go from this way. Okay. Then for a liquid lipstick. Because this one is nude. This one's called Stellar. It's one of my favorite nudes. I literally have um, this one when I first started with this business and stuff. Um, I literally had this one. 
um, Stellar in my starter kit, and I've had it since. So, I've had this for a year and five months. So, it's still lasting me. And I have a brand new bottle that I haven't even cracked into yet. That's why I love it so much. Okay, and then with this one, though, this one's all colorful. We're going to go with another colorful lip. So, we're going to take, we got this one, or we got this one. I think we're going to go with the coral one. So, we're going to take this one, and you guys can use this on your eyes, you can use a blush. The best thing is, all these products are versatile, so it's awesome that, you know, you can use it for that kind of stuff. So, I'm going to go right into... This color and the best thing about it is you can take the tip of this and you can use it as a lip liner that Whew, pretty Double wow. See how pretty this color is? And this one, um, this color is called Soulful. There is a website down below if anyone is interested in any of the products at all. You can go and click that website. And if you're not interested in any of the products, just let me know, you know, what is your favorite product when it comes to any products? Like, what is your favorite product um, in general? Like, my favorite product right now is liquid lipstick. And it's because ours are versatile and you can use them on your cheeks as blush or on your eyes as, um, you know, eyeshadow. So, the only other thing we're going to do is use a color for highlight. That's something we haven't done yet. So, we have highlighters. I love them. Um, but a really cool thing is taking a pressed eyeshadow and using them more than eyeshadow. So, again, our products are versatile. So, I'm going to take this one right here. This really pretty color. We're going to grab that blending brush that I used on my eyes earlier and go right into it and go right here. And boom, look at that. Now this one was a different eyeshadow and it was in one of our um, addiction palettes. It was in number two. But look at that highlight, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? And we're just gonna take some right here on my nose a little bit, right here, right here, and right here. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. So, that is the look. I hope you all enjoyed. And what is your favorite part of this video? Let me know. And let me know in the comments what else you want to see. So, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your day. I love you all and thank you. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of me.